Hi guys, welcome back to painting our James Rizzy bird. So we are going to be using watercolors and with watercolors, you have to know that it needs water to actually work. So you can see that these paints are dry. They're almost a little sticky to touch. And so we're gonna make sure that our brush gets super wet. So I'm gonna put it in my clean water and then I'm going to put it in a color. So I'm going to use blue for my bird. So I've got it really, really wet and I'm not pushing down and I'm not digging a hole or scooping. I really wanna use just that puddle that's right on top. So you can see that my it's very wet when I touch it. And so I'm going to start painting inside my bird. I'm gonna paint everything inside the bird except for the two eyes. So as I'm painting, you're gonna see that the, it's going on very wet and I am going right up to the edge because thankfully we used an oil pastel and with the oil pastel, it actually serves as like a barrier to protecting your um, paint from running out and going out of the oil pastel. So I am going to keep painting my bird and I'm going to paint everything except for those eyes. So as you can see, I'm gonna get more water add it to my paint and I'm going to keep painting. So I'm gonna grab more water, dip it lightly, and I can even paint right over this wing because it's an oil pastel and it's what it calls is resist. And it's resisting it by not letting it go through it or over it. It's just resisting it completely. So I'm going to keep painting and finishing my bird right now. It's already looking really nice, just like a James Rizzy bird. And I'm going to paint the whole face except those eyes. So we wanna keep painting the body. And I'm almost done. I'm gonna use a little bit more paint just to go right around the eyes. And then my bird is done. So I have my James Rizzy bird all painted. Oh, I forgot the little bit of the tail. Okay, so we are all done. What I do is I'm gonna wash off my brush. I'm gonna tap it in the water cup. I'm not going to splash it. I'm also, you don't wanna tap like that because it will um, possibly spray and do little droplets everywhere. So I'm just gonna dab it up and down. And then I'm going to use another color for the background. I think I'm gonna go with purple and I'm going to put the water into the purple, which the purple is right next to the blue. It almost looks like black, it's so dark. So now that my purple's really wet, I wanna go ahead and get it really wet but now I'm actually gonna wash off my brush one more time because we're gonna do something special. We're gonna do something different called wet on wet watercolor. So you're gonna dab off your brush and just have a clean brush. Now I'm gonna actually paint and get it all wet, get my whole paper wet. And you don't wanna pour the water, you're just dipping it in and almost scooping it and going all over yours. And you can't even see it because it's just plain clear water. So I'm gonna get that wet and you're gonna going to want to do this all over except for on your bird. So do the whole background. So I'm just going to do one part so that then you guys can start painting. So I've gotten the whole bottom half wet and I've all I've done is dip it in the water and get my paper from corner to corner all wet on the bottom. Now I'm going to get it wet again, dip it in the purple and then when you can see, wow, that wet on wet, it really makes it cool and I can just dab it on there and it spreads because of the water. So it you paint with it and you spread what you have. And so it's gonna be really cool looking, almost like a tie dye, because it goes all the way out with that um, paint just going really far. Wow, it's really cool looking. And the good thing is, is that oil pastel is resisting it and it's letting you go all the way to the edge and even over the feet. So I'm gonna keep grabbing more. Wow, that's so cool. Look at that spreading. 
so awesome. And so just one little dip in that purple gave me all of this paint and goes all the way to the edges. So this is so awesome. It goes right up to the edge. I'm probably gonna need to dip one more time in the purple just to finish up this half. And this is how we're gonna do the entire um, background. So the background is what it goes around your Rizzy bird. So you're gonna complete it by dipping it in the water, getting the water really wet, painting all of the white part around the bird with just water first. Once you paint it with just water, you're going to go ahead and go back and add the actual color. So let me finish this up so that you can see that it's all done and then you can get going. So I'm gonna dip it one more time in the purple. And you're gonna say, whoa, that's so amazing. That's so cool. If you wanted to, you could even leave it with those little tie dye bursts. That's totally fine with you. I'm gonna go ahead and use it to paint all around and it goes pretty quick while I'm painting. So I've got my background almost totally done. This is so cool. So fun, it makes it so easy to quickly paint that background because there's so much water and it helps you spread it without having to use a lot of paint. Finish up this one spot and I'm gonna be done. If I get on the table, you guys know that that's okay because we're gonna wash and disinfect the table when we're done anyway. And I'm all done. I used watercolor to first paint the bird and then I used wet on wet method to paint the background with any color I wanted. So I hope you had fun and you guys can keep spreading this until you're done. When you're all done, you're gonna to wanna to let the teacher know, raise your hand and the teacher will carefully carry this to the drying rack. Thanks for watching.